Welcome back, fitness friends, and today I am so excited to have you join me for some aqua kickboxing. Let's get started. Here's our warm up. So, first things first, let's go ahead and start jogging. Just start jogging those feet out and start swinging your arms by your sides with the bent elbow here and just have those palms going forwards and backs. And as we're doing this, thinking about your tall posture. Now, posture is really important today. So today, I'm going to have you make sure you stay really tall. Try to keep the shoulders down and relaxed and keep your abdominals engaged. It's really, really important throughout our exercise today. Now, as you are moving here, let's bring those knees a little bit higher. Open those legs up wider and let's go into a wide jog and take your hands and let's just alternate pushing them down towards the floor, right and left, pushing the hands towards the floor, palms down. Let's take the jog into a wide and narrow jog. So feet are going wide and narrow, out, out, in, in. And as you do, take those palms and start pushing them forward here. So pushing the hands forward, right, left, alternating. And today you can either do palm strikes with means an open hand, or you can do a fist. So an open hand is going to be a little bit more uh, intensity, a little bit more pressure on the wrist. So if you're ever feeling any pressure in those wrists, go ahead and go into a nice strong fist. Bring your arms out into a T shape out to the sides, and let's do small circles with those arms. Now. One thing here, if you are standing in very shallow water, keep your hands up above the water surface and do your circles out of the water completely. If you are in deeper water, you're going to want to sink down, submerge yourself so the shoulders are down in the water along with those hands and arms, and you're going to do your circles there. So we don't want you splashing halfway in and halfway out, so either up out of the water or down in the water. Hands into the hips. and. Let's go into a wide high knee jog. So keep the feet wide and bring those knees up high. Slow down the feet and start going into a pendulum. So you're just going to tick tock those legs sideways, keeping them wide, and you're going to reach through your arms. So your arms are out in a T shape, and they're out to the sides. Just reaching out to the right, reaching out to the left. We're trying to stretch the core here. So you want to try to reach through those fingertips as you pendulum side to side. Keep with the pendulum. Now swing those arms in front of you here. So swinging them to the right and left. And the arms are going to go the opposite direction of the legs that's lifted. So your palms are going to be pushing that water away from you here. So side to side with the hands. Hands back to the hips. And let's just start drawing those feet up behind us. These are our butt kickers. So bring those heels up behind you. Once you got the legs going, let's bring those hands out in front and pull back. So a really strong punch, both hands forward, and then a strong pull back with those elbows. Quick and strong. So a punch and pull. Hands back to the hips. Bring the right foot forward a little bit. Let's start with that rocking horse right. So you're going to do a lean and pull back here. So a lean, crisscross forward, pull back and open. Don't forget it's a knee up in the front and a hamstring curl in the back. So right knee up, hamstring curl in the back. Let's land into the right foot and ground that foot down and then take the left foot up behind you just to bend and extend the knee. Let's do that about four or five times. After that, keep the foot up with the knee bent and let's circle around the ankles. So make sure our ankles are all ready too. So circle around four or five times in one direction, four or five times in the other. Be sure to use your hands to help you balance here as much as needed. 
Once you're done with that, go ahead and bring that left foot forward and we're going to go back into our rockers. So again, it's a left knee up, a hinge forward and lean back, and you're also doing that hamstring curl or I call it a butt kicker on the other leg. Again, we're going to crisscross in the front and then open the arms. We're just trying to get the back and chest muscles all warmed up here. So crisscross and open. Let's land into that left foot, plant it all the way down, bringing that right foot up behind you. So you're going to bend and extend that right leg, but just lifting and lowering. And then let's just stay up on this next one and circle the ankles around. Again, try to get four rotations to the right, four to the left, and use your hands as needed for balance. Plant the feet in a wide stance, stay really tall, and let's just do a side bend to the right and a side bend to the left. So just reach your hand down towards the knee on the right and the left, reaching down both sides. Draw the hands into a guard position, so just tuck the elbows in the rib cage here and we're going to go ahead and keep the feet wide and you're just going to reach across with a strong punch across right then a strong punch across left and as you do try to rotate through your hips so when you rotate you're pivoting your back heel is going to lift and your hips are going to actually turn so try to reach through both ways and we're looking for some range of motion so try to get that range of motion bigger as you're moving through this movement Now, whatever arm you're on, stay on that arm. You're going to reach across, punch, and then pull back with a strong elbow draw back. Punch, draw the elbow back strong. So still pivoting, still rotating, strong and powerful. Back to those alternating jabs across. Right and left. Okay, we're going to do a few more and then in just a moment we're going to pick the other side and we're going to stay on the other side. Go ahead and stay on that other side and now reach across with a punch, pull back with that elbow. You're really drawing the elbow back. Think of it as a jab. So you're like trying to jab your elbow back strong. Plant both feet and let's loosen those hips to some hula hoop circles around in a circle. It's about four rotations to the right and four rotations to the left. And then we are finished with our warm up. Let's start out with some punches. Find yourself in a stagger stance. Okay, that's one foot forward in front of the other and it's wide. And then you're going to take that front arm and you're going to jab it. It's called a jab when you're using that front arm. So you're going to punch forward, pull back, punch forward, pull back. That same arm does the work here. You can keep the other hand in at your hip or in a guarded position, whatever feels good. And you want to try to go ahead and add some more intensity. So strong, think of jab and strong. Put a little bit of hip into it. Pop your feet up and switch to the other lead leg. And now again, we're doing a jab. So you're just using that front arm. So you're gonna just punch, pull back, punch, pull back, and you're strong. Use your hips to help put the energy behind that punch.
let's hop those feet into a wide stance now. So you have those arms up in a guard position. And I want you to just do your jabs forward. So now it's a right, left, right, left, quick, quick, right, left, powerful. Keep it going. You can even add a little across here, a little cross jab here. So it doesn't have to be straight forward. It can be a little cross for a little bit more core work. Awesome job. Let's slow those arms down. Now you're going to go ahead and do a right and left high knee. We're going to kind of keep it a little wide. And as you do, you have the hands together in the front, and you're going to just swoop those hands down towards your hip on the side that the leg is lifting. So right knee is going to lift, the hands come to the right, left knee lifts, the hands come to the left. Swooping it down to just kind of swoosh that water down to each side. Keep it going, trying to make it a really powerful, what I call it, this one is a knee slam. So we're slamming that water down past the knee into that hip area. Really powerful, trying to get that rotation. And we will see this one again later. So just put this in your memory for later too. Bring those feet in back normal. Hands to your hips, stay real tall, and you're gonna do alternating leg kicks. So we're gonna kick right, we're gonna kick left. So it's just a little flick through each of those feet, flick right, left. And as you do, you wanna sink down into those legs. You're almost doing a little squat in between of those. Keep your abs braced and try to get those legs a little bit higher, no rounding forward. Moving along, we have jacks next. So let's get ready to bring those legs open and close. And we're gonna take those arms and keep them long for this one. So we're just gonna bring those hands down in front in a clapping motion. So kind of clap them down in front and then open them out to a T, down in front, open to a T as the legs open and close. So again, staying tall. For this one, you're welcome to sink down into the water for more resistance or you can stay upright, whatever feels good. We just wanna get a nice solid jack with this one. bring those feet back in and let's go into a jog. So we want a nice strong jog. Let's get those knees up high. So you have options with this one. You can either slice those hands across the surface of the water if you wanna add some hands, or I am gonna go ahead and bring those hands together here and make myself into a little target for my hands so my knees know where I gotta bring those knees. Again, I'm not trying to do any rounding forward. I'm staying as tall as I can. The knees coming up this is an intense thing to do, so you can go fast or slow, whatever feels right. Keep those knees high and quick, just 10 more seconds. Slow those feet down, and let's bring ourselves into a staggered stance, one foot forward, one foot back. Now let's do some uppercuts. You're gonna go ahead and take the back arm and you're gonna do an uppercut punch. So it's literally a movement from your palm coming up, like you're gonna hit somebody up underneath the chin. So it's an upward motion. And as you do, use your hips to drive upward, then retract it, upward, and then pull back, upward. So think upward, it's an uppercut. Let's see those hips move. Let's do two more on that side. 
Then go ahead and step in or hop in and switch those feet so you have the other foot forward. We're going to use the other side now for those uppercuts. So get your forearm first. Stay tall. Drive that arm up and that fist up and in. So it's a strong jab upwards. It's an uppercut. Use your hip to help propel that arm up. Are you using those hips? Using those hips will create more force, just making you stronger by every punch. Step in, stand tall, bring your hands in by your sides in a guarding position. And we're just gonna do a kick forward right, kick forward left. Now once you get those legs, add the same side punch down with your hands. So you're gonna use your fist and punch it down towards the floor here as your leg comes up and kicks. So right punch down as a right kick, left punch down, left kick. Right side, left side. Wonderful job. Let's get that heart rate up a bit. So let's bring those feet back in and let's start jogging those feet really, really fast. So tall posture, jog, 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 and let's bring those hands forward into a speed bag. A speed bag would also be considered a disco roll for some of those who don't know what a speed bag is. So you're just gonna turn those hands in front of you and let's lower down into the water. Lower down a little bit, get your shoulders down in the water, get as many body parts in the water as you can. Jog those feet really, really, really fast. Awesome. Let's go ahead and just go and rotate those hands in the opposite direction to so bring that water in towards you now. Keep the feet moving. Quiet those feet. Now let's go into four knee slams. We've seen these before. So where you do high knees and you tuck the hands to your hip. And after four of those knee slams, we're gonna go ahead and do four kicks forward. So when you do your kicks forward, kind of just tuck the arms into the body. So let's try that together. So four knees, four, three, two, one, and then four kicks forward, four, three, two, one, and let's repeat that. Keep that combo going. How many more can you do in the next 15 seconds? Let's quiet those feet and go into our next move. So take your right foot, step back, kick forward, step back, and then step in. Left foot, step back, kick forward, step back, then step in to switch feet. So back, kick, back, in, switch. Back, kick, back, in, switch. So once you get those legs, we're gonna use those arms. We're gonna push forward and pull down. Push the palms forward, pull down. So About 15 more seconds before you move on. For the next 30 seconds, we're gonna plant our feet wide and we're gonna do an upward paddling motion. So get those shoulders down into the water, 
soften those knees and put your palms facing upwards. And I just want you to paddle the water up. So paddle, paddle, paddle. Really, really strong. Like I said, this is 30 seconds and you're like halfway through. So hang in there and go quickly. Strong breathing. You only have 10 more seconds. Ooh, that was some cardio, right? Go ahead and put that right foot forward, left foot back in a stagger position, and we're gonna do a jab and then a cross. So jab is your front arm punch, then a cross is the back arm punch. So front arm, back arm, jab, cross, jab, cross. Really strong, engaging your midsection. And you can add a little extra reach across here if you want. You can use more core, or you can keep it straight forward. Are you ready to switch sides? Give me a strong hop and switch to swap the feet so the other foot's forward. And again, you can do your jab and then a cross, a jab, cross. So again, front arm, back arm, front arm, back arm, and as much range of motion here as you want. You can either be strong and powerful forward or you can add a little more range of motion for core work. Let's jump and switch so we have the other foot forward again. And we're gonna continue with the same motion with the arms, but now we're gonna add a knee. So it's gonna be a jab, a cross, and then a knee slam. Jab, cross, knee slam. Jab, cross, knee slam. Keep it going. Once you get that coordination figured out, you wanna start putting that power behind those movements. So really strong, really powerful, like you mean it. Either step in and switch sides or hop to switch and let's do it on the other side. It's a jab, cross, knee slam. Jab, cross, knee slam. Jab, cross, knee slam. Really strong. We have time for about three or four more combos. Bring yourself back into that tall posture, hands at your hips, and let's just flick those feet forward. So long legs, right, left, like it's a bounding kick, right, left, right, left. Bring those feet down into a jog now, and we're just gonna do some gentle punches forward. We are about halfway through with our workout here. Water break is coming in about 15 seconds. We're gonna bring your heart rate down just a little bit so you can go grab some water during our water break. Feel free to pause it if you need to. After you're done with your water break, come on back, push play, and then start with your jogging, and then we'll go ahead and get going with the next part of our routine. Welcome back, I hope you got some water. So now we're gonna go into some jump roping. So you're gonna put those feet together and you're gonna just bound off the bottom with both feet, hopping up and down. And let's use those hands as if you had a jump rope in your hands here. So just a jump roping motion. If you don't like the bounding, you're welcome to go ahead and just do a nice strong jog in place. Whatever you're doing, remember we're using our tall posture, abs engaged, shoulders up, back, and down. We've got about 10 more seconds. Okay. 
Let's take those legs into a skiing motion. So the arms and legs. First skiing is in opposition. So as the right foot is forward, the left arm is forward. That's how you ski. Once you get your ski down pat, we're gonna add on a kick. So we're gonna go and ski three times and then kick. So it's gonna be ski, 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 kick, ski, 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 kick. Three skis, then a kick three skis and then a kick so a nice strong kick forward if you can't get the pattern you just want to ski to this feel free to do so we're just working on some coordination and getting those legs up get some more power here now just notice what leg you are kicking with here all right, once you notice that, let's take it down to a ski so we can get onto the other leg. So you're gonna ski and then let's kick the other leg forward and then do three skis and then kick. So you should be on the other side by doing that. So again, it'll be ski, 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 kick. And keep that going. How are you doing out there? Are you staying strong and powerful with those movements? You have 10 more seconds and then we're moving on. This next one is a lateral shuffle. So bring those feet wide-ish, and you're gonna just hop side to side. So a lateral shuffle, right and left. So you're just hopping side to side with those feet. It's not gonna be a big hop because we have the water resistance. We're just hopping side to side, shuffle, shuffle, side to side. Keep your hands guarded or in at your waist. Whatever feels good. Now strong and powerful, side to side. keep you here another 30 seconds so really tighten up the core and really try to hop those feet side to side even stronger more powerful perfect go ahead and bring those feet back in now this one here is a right front kick, right side kick, step in, left front kick, left side kick, step in. Right front, right side in, left front, left side in. Now as you do those kicks, when you get to the side kicks, you wanna start adding a little bit more lean into it. So strong forward and then a lean to get a higher side kick. We have time for a few more. So again, remember powerful, strong. Bring the feet down into a wide stance. And what we're gonna do is you're gonna punch across to the right and it's gonna be at surface height and then you're gonna punch to the left at a downward angle. So right across, left down, right across, left down down, right across, left down. Now really reaching through your body here and let's put that power behind it again. So strong, powerful, and again, like you mean it. Time to switch sides, left across, right and down. Left across, right and down.
So step in for this next one, either into a wide stance or a stagger, whatever helps you stay grounded. And you're gonna stay tall, keep your arms close to the rib cage and palms facing up. And we are doing elbow jabs back. So right elbow jab, left elbow jab. So right, left, pull back, right, left, pull back. Strong, like you're jabbing somebody with your elbow behind you. Keep your core braced and strong, powerful. And let's do these ones quick too. Moving along into a rocking horse, or I call him a rocker. So we're gonna rock with the right knee up. So again, it's your lean knee up, and then a lean forward with the hamstring curl or butt kicker. We're gonna reach and pull. So when you reach, palms down, reach, pull back, palms up. So you're gonna kind of grab and still try to engage the back muscles by doing that, that elbow draw back that we just did. So still that strong, powerful motion. We're just gonna keep it going by adding that rocking horse to it. Step in and set up for the left knee up rocking horse. Again, strong, powerful punch, both arms forward, palms down, and then draw those elbows back with the palms coming up. Strong, powerful motions. We're looking for core engagement, strong lean in both directions. Use your strength, everybody. Bring feet down into a wider stance here and then hands together in front of you, palms facing down. You're gonna press your hands down and draw your knees up. So this is like a froggy leg coming up, a hop up with both legs. Now you can make this more into a cowboy kick by knees up with a kick out or you can keep it with just the knees up with the press down, your option here, of course. And if you don't like the hop with both legs, you can do it alternating right and left side. You only have time for a couple more. Let's bring down that intensity for a moment here. So bring it back into a jog. Keep your shoulders relaxed and arms down by your sides and those arms are long. And just take your hands and just go into some circles to the floor here with those hands as you're jogging, catching our breath, because those were pretty intense, weren't they? So strong posture, jog it out a bit. We're gonna get ready to do some more here in just a moment. walk your feet out into a wide stance. Now this one's gonna be on the right knee first. So you're gonna be doing right knee up and down. As the right knee comes up, you're gonna left arm go into a roundhouse punch across. So as the knee's coming up, the arm is across. In the meantime, you're gonna go ahead as the leg goes down, the opposite arm's gonna punch across. So both your arms are gonna be punching right and left. You're just gonna try to make sure that arm is driving over the knee as it lifts. So keep those punches going. Let's get ready to switch sides. Get the knee up on the left side now. So the left knee is up, right hand comes across for the roundhouse and then swoop across with the left. So knee up right with then a left cross punch. start taking those legs into more of a pendulum fashion. So we're gonna go ahead and bring the right knee up as you pendulum and then the left 
leg is going to side kick. Right knee up, left side kick. And as you do that side kick, we're going to take both hands and press down. Knee up, side kick. Knee up, side kick. And make sure you're pressing down in the center. Strong and powerful. Bring yourself back into a regular pendulum and get set up for the other side. So now it's going to be a left knee up, right side kick, left knee up, right side kick. Strong, push to the floor in the center. Bring it down a notch into just the pendulum and just slice the water, alternating right and left slices in front of you here. Start taking your hands down and pressing down to the sides as you pendulum. Let's get set up for right knee up rockers again. So right knee up, left foot going to be your butt kicker. And as you do, we're going to go ahead and push the water up pull down, so an extended bend of the arms, and instead of just lifting that knee up, let's make that knee lift into a kick forward. So rocking horse with a kick forward. So kick and then butt kicker, kick forward, butt kicker. So we're kicking both directions here, adding your lean, add your arms once you get them, but at least get those kicks and front and back. Step in and switch so the other knee is forward. Again, rocking horse left, and this rocking horse has a front kick on it. You have the option of staying with the knee, but if we can add that kick, we're just gonna burn that many more calories here. So kick, and then butt kick behind, and then hands, palms up, palms down. Ten more seconds. Plant the feet in a wide stance. So taking that right arm, we're going to go ahead and we're going to punch across. We got two across at the surface height, pull back, two down. Two across surface height, then two down and across. So two across, pull back, two down and across. Now when you do these, you have the option of using a fist. This is going to go a little bit faster for you here. Or you can do a palm strike, which means you're just going to have your hand with an open palm and you're going to be pushing it forward. A little bit more resistance with the hand being open here. And if you have gloves on, it's going to be even more resistance. up that last one and then let's go ahead and switch to the other arm so again two punches across at the surface height pull back two punches down make sure that while you're doing these you're using your midsection to help generate your power so the hips are rotating that back heel does not stay planted to the floor we want mobility which will actually help you drive better finish up that last one and then let's go ahead and switch to the other arm 
So again, two punches across at the surface height, pull back, two punches down. Make sure that while you're doing these, you're using your midsection to help generate your power. So the hips are rotating, that back heel does not stay planted to the floor, we want mobility. Finish these up, about 10 more seconds. Keeping the feet wide, we're going to go ahead and lift that left knee. So left knee is up and down, up and down. Put your hands together, start on the opposite side of the body, and then draw them for inward thigh scoop to the thigh. So you're going to draw down for a nice strong knee slam, but this time we're going to target more into the inner thigh. So those hands come down to the inner thigh best you can, and draw that inner thigh up and towards those hands. Time to switch sides. Set it up so we were going to lift the right knee now up and down with the right knee, hands together, swoop from the other side, bring it across your midsection, bring it down to the inner thigh, swoop here. Yeah, strong, powerful, slam that water into the thigh. You got it. Bring it down a notch into a stagger stance. Get ready to do four front punches, which are jabs, and then four back punches, which are cross punches. So four front arm punches, four back arm punches. Solid up your core here. Use your breath as you punch and think intensity. Step or jump to switch feet, so you have the other foot forward. And again, four front punches, four cross punches, which is your back arm, so four of each. I want the same intensity on this side. It may feel different, but try your best. Moving along into some more cardio here, we're going to put that right foot into a bounding pattern. So we're going to bound off the floor with the right foot. So up and down hops with the right foot, long leg, and then you're going to take the left leg and you're going to kick it forward and back, forward and back as you bound up and down on the right. So kicking with the left, forward and back, bounding with the right, and as you do this, you're going to try to keep that tall posture, abs engaged, shoulders relaxed. You have the option of no bounding if you'd rather and just kick with the leg forward and back, but this is a higher intensity option here. So go ahead and try what feels right. Let's get ready to switch sides. So start bounding on the left and kicking with the right. And again, that kick is forward and back, forward and back, and that hopping up and down. And again, plant the foot if this is too much intensity for you. We are moving into our last exercise for today, and this is just a two-footed hop and a torso rotation. So take those hands out in front of you and sweep the water to the right and left. Now as your hands go to the right, your knees and feet are going to go to the left and then vice versa. So your feet are always going to be opposite of those hands. So the water is going to turn here at your torso for you, but you keep your legs together and have those knees pointing in the same direction as the toes. 
super awesome job out there, everybody. Let's bring it down a notch. Take it into a jog and just some punches forward here. This is going to be the start of our recovery. Today I've included a small stretch with this workout. Please join me for the stretch. If you are short on time, please make sure you at least stretch all your major muscle groups. If recovery is super important to the body. It's not only going to help you feel better, but it's also going to increase your flexibility and range of motion. So let's go ahead and put those feet into a wide position and just reach with those T-shaped arms out to the right and out to the left, kind of just stretching through the sides of the body here. Then let's bring ourselves down into a figure eight arm forward. So we're going to take your right arm and figure eight it side to side in front of you and use your hips. We're going to pivot side to side. Switch arms. Keep your feet planted and you're going to round your shoulders forward in a crisscross and then open your hands out to the sides, opening the chest. As you round forward, we're going to tuck in your tummy muscles, round your back and then the open and extend. Round forward, open, extend, crisscross forward and then open the arms to the sides. Lace the fingers together, push them forward and really round through the upper back. You're doing like a big old beach ball hug here. Step your right foot forward and left foot back. What you're going to do is just bend your left knee, raising the heel up, then extend, push the heel to the floor. Knee up, bend and extend, heel up and down, and just do a bicep curl up, push the hands down, bicep curl up, push the hands down. Bring the left foot up behind you, bringing it up into your glutes. So just bend the knee, bringing it all the way up. Try to tuck it in if you can. And then you're going to reach forward with the other arm. And you're just going to skim the water to help hold your balance. This is a good stretch for your quads, which is in front of the thigh, and your hip flexors. We're going to step in and switch sides so that left foot is forward, right leg is behind you. You're going to bend and extend the knee, the heel lifts and lowers and really try to accentuate that push down with the heel. And again, you can do those bicep curls with a gentle open palm with the hands. Bring the foot up behind you, trying to tuck it into the glute. Add your lean forward, hands skipping the water to help you here, keeping your balance, keeping your abs in tight, strong breathing. Thanks for joining me today. I loved working out with you and I look forward to more workouts. If you love this video, please like it, subscribe and share with your friends and family and I'll be seeing you again soon. Take care.